political essayist Hannah Arndt once said that what happens when you accept political lying is not that the public believes the lies, it's that they stop believing in the very idea of truth itself. And that's a huge problem in politics around the world right now. We've all just accepted the idea that politicians lie to us, constantly. In Canada, it happens from all sides. You've got politicians who lie directly, like Danielle Smith. You've got politicians who misrepresent facts, like Pierre Poilievre. And you've got politicians who just dodge questions entirely and spin their tires instead of giving you a straight answer, like Justin Trudeau. They all have the games that they play, and none of them benefit the Canadian public. They all only serve political ends. And the problem is that this isn't a game, it's people's lives. Politics and political decisions have real impacts on all of us, and we need to bear that in mind when we set our personal expectations for what we expect of politicians. We all know the old joke about how can you tell when a politician's lying, because his mouth is moving, and all that stuff. But are we really okay with that? There are a lot of professions that are professionally bound to tell the truth. I can't lie to a parent about what's happening in their kid's education. A doctor can't lie to a patient. A lawyer can't lie to a client. You'd be decredentialed in any of those situations. So why are we so eager to let politicians get away with lies? Which brings me to what I really want to talk about. It's a major political change that's about to take place in Wales. You know, the place with the cool dragon on the flag. Well, this guy, Adam Price, a member of the Welsh Parliament, has brought forward a bill to make it illegal for politicians to lie. And it's getting backing from multiple parties and seems likely to pass. And this will be the first legislation of its kind that makes it outright illegal for politicians to lie to the public. It's held to the same legal standards as slander and libel, which is a deliberate deception of the public, and politicians can face severe consequences. Now, Price isn't discounting the possibility of legal action outside of politics, but at present, what he's proposing is that the person be removed from office and disqualified from holding office for at least four years. There's also the possibility of fines or jail time, but there are a couple of important protections to bear in mind here. For starters, there are exceptions carved out for national security reasons, for stuff like military secrets. Then politicians would be protected. But when it comes to other cases, if they're directly and deliberately deceiving the public, they are given 14 days to issue a retraction and an apology. Otherwise, they could face personal and professional consequences. And it's important to note that this process would be depoliticized. The whole thing would be run through public prosecutor's offices, not through political processes. This prevents politicians from weaponizing it. And I don't know about you folks, I can't see a single reason why this shouldn't be rolled out in Canadian politics. Why are we not including deceiving the public in the Canadian political codes of ethics? As it stands in the Canadian Parliament, if someone lies, that's perfectly fine. But if you call that person a liar, you could be disciplined for being unparliamentary. And that's where things are at. All politicians exist within a system where they can openly lie to the public in order to avoid accountability. And because they make the rules, they're not going to change them unless they face significant public pressure in order to do so. Why as a politician would you take away your own ability to lie? The only way to get this sort of legislation passed is to have somebody like Adam Price, a person with integrity who's willing to step forward and demand that not only their colleagues be held to account, but themselves as well. We need to recognize that politicians make massive decisions that impact the lives of Canadians and that they need to be held to a high standard. When they make these decisions, they need to be expected to share their justifications and explanations with the public, instead of just lying to our faces. We deserve better. The politicians work for us, and they need to remember that. And one important step in this would be taking away their ability to just lie to our faces. And I would love to hear a politician come forward and explain to me why they think they should be allowed to lie to us. Otherwise, I'd hope to see this sort of legislation come forward really soon in Canada.